The factor label method is commonly used to convert between units in math and science. The steps that we follow are first, write down what we know. This usually includes our starting value and units and the units that we need to end with. Second, we need to determine and write down our conversion factors. Conversion factors or conversion ratios can come from multiple sources. They may be provided in a problem that we're trying to solve. They may be from relationships in the metric system. They can be looked up or some of them may be memorized. Finally, we will multiply all values across the top and divide by each of the values on the bottom. Let's start with a simple example. We want to determine how many meters are in 4.6 kilometers. First, let's write down what we know. We know that we're starting with 4.6 kilometers, and we know that the prefix kilo means 1,000. So we know that one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. When we write down our conversion factors, it's important to remember two principles. Diagonal units should always be the same, and vertical values should be equivalent. This means that when we place our conversion factor, the one kilometer must go in the denominator. This ensures that our diagonal units are the same and will cancel, and the vertical values 1,000 meters and one kilometer are equivalent, or they are the same size. The next step is to multiply by numbers across the top and divide by each number on the bottom. We know that multiplying or dividing by one will not change our value. Let's look at a second example that has additional steps or additional conversion factors. We want to know how many centimeters are in 3.4 yards. First, we know that we're starting with 3.4 yards. We also know that one yard is equal to three feet, one foot is equal to 12 inches, and one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. Again, these conversion factors can come from things that we have been told in our problem, we can look them up, or there's something that we may have memorized. Next, those conversion factors need to be placed so that they follow our two principles, that the diagonal units are the same and vertical values are equivalent, or they're the same size. First, one yard is equal to three feet. Next, one foot is equal to 12 inches. And finally, one inch is equivalent to 2.54 centimeters. With the values placed in this way, the diagonal units are the same and the vertical values are equivalent. Finally, we will multiply by each of the values across the top and then divide by each of the values in the bottom. Again, when we multiply or divide by one, it doesn't change our value. And so we can skip these processes without it changing our answer.